Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neesh Kumar Singh and we are continuing with our Jira tutorials on basics. Now, as a part of this series, you would have learned a lot of options as of now that what are the different activities and how exactly to interact with Jira with help of a particular project. And during this span, you should have observed or might have got questions that what if I could do this? What if I could do that? within this project, which is just having a limitation, right? Now, of course, this tutorial is to tell you that we have a lot of third-party plugins to enable those functionalities within our Jira projects. And those apps are available in the marketplace. So let's go and explore what exactly is marketplace is having for us and what kind of apps can be installed in order to enable those activities which you thought could have been possible. And yes, it is possible. So let's check it out. In this tutorial, we will be understanding more about what are marketplaces in Jira and how we can install different apps within Jira project. To begin with, the very first thing you should know what exactly a marketplace is. It's just like a place uh, which you call it as a market and it is market of apps. There are a lot of things which we need to understand in Jira which might not be possible by default when you select certain templates. <laughs> like creating a Agile project or creating a Kanban template project or even an XGen project or anything. But of course, there are a lot of other activities which you might be interested in order to perform within your project, but it is not available by default. Thus, the Jira allows you to have a source where you can search for different applications which can enable those plugins and allow you to perform such activities. For example, this is the Access. In your any of the projects which you are accessing, go to the apps in the menu bar and click on the find new apps. Click on this button to access the marketplace within Jira project. Once you gain access to the marketplace in Jira project, you will see a lot of other apps being displayed to you. For example, something like this. There are a lot of like over thousands of apps which are available in the marketplace which you can scroll around and browse through and see what you think is the most important or probably at that point of time is relevant to you in order to uh, enable some of the basic important features within Jira which does not come by default. Remember one thing, these are all the plugins which are available by the third party and they are providing you certain services, certain enablement within Jira projects and are validated by the Jira. Thus, you have this integrations possible within the Jira marketplace. As a part of marketplace, you also have access to find new app, manage the apps which are installed or you can request even app which will be recommended to you based on your request and some of the beta versions coming up later in our access. So for your quick understanding, there are certain apps, for example, I have script runners to automate some of the activities within Jira project. For example, if you want to create, uh, you know, you want to add watchers uh, by default when you create a new task, then you can use a script runner in order to run your automation script to automate some of the other activities. Similarly, there is a tempo timesheets and tracking reports. So tempo is another uh, plugin which allows you to manage the time tracking and reporting within the Jira projects and very, very quite often used by a lot of organizations, even professional ones. And uh, similarly, we have that for Zira, which is the test management tool. If you want to manage your testing, test cycles, test summary report, test progress, executions and all, you can definitely have test management tool integrated called as Zephyr, which will enable you to design, execute and do even organize your test automation externally within the Jira tools. So let's see how exactly you can install an app in this tutorial, which we will be using in our upcoming series of tutorial as well. So let's do the installation and make use of it. So just click on the app and you will have an option here that try it for free. For the cloud versions, right now we are using a cloud instance, you get it for free uh, for limited users. But of course, beyond that, it will be charged at around uh, $10 uh, per month to you. So right now, if you're practicing, you can definitely make use of it free of cost. So just click on try it for free. But if you are using a server edition, uh, you will be given only for 30 days of the trial period to start using it. But after that, you will be charged. So just click on start free trial. 
and you will see there's a progress happening adding Zephyr to the Jira management test tool and uh, the moment it is installed it will prompt you that we are done with the installation process all right now you see a message there stating that success Zephyr for Zira test management was added now you can start managing the app now how to access Zephyr because I don't see any changes happening on my ribbon so all you have to do is go back to your project which you were accessing we can use the buttons to navigate between the project and moment you go to the project you will see the access to the Zephyr so now you see a new option created on the left side called a Zephyr and this allows you to manage your testing related activities within Jira projects so to access Zephyr you just have to click on Zephyr here and you can see there are a lot of other options related to Zephyr here on the left side. You can create a test, you can create a BDD, you can search test, import test, cycle summary, search test executions, manage execution filters, reporting point of view. We have test summary, test matrix, traceability matrix, and a lot many other things which you can integrate from outside. For example, you're making use of Selenium to automate your test. You can definitely import the execution results to Jira project and a lot many other things of course the continuous integration rest api cucumber anything you know which you think can generally be assisting in these days in the market today so this is how basically market help the market place helps you in order to search for an app which is relevant for you and you can install it start making use of it and that's very simple just click on install it will install and configure and you can just start making use of it but not in this series. This is the last tutorial of our series on the Jira basic tutorials. We will have another series of tutorials on Jira to talk about the test management using Jeffer, which is very important. So let's see how exactly it goes. And we will look forward to other set of tutorials to understand more about the same. Well, I hope that tutorial was quite informative to you. And at this point of time, I would like to declare and let you know that this is the last tutorial of our Jira basic tutorial series. Don't be afraid, we'll be having a lot more coming up in different playlists to talk about the intermediate options and of course, Jira administration as well. So stay tuned for that. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe it because we have a lot more interesting tools and concepts coming up on this channel to make you enable do those complicated activities. So stay tuned for that. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.